allergen desensitization. The information in this video is intended for educational purposes only. You should consult your physician before considering treatment and should not rely on this information alone. Non-allergic reactions Under normal circumstances, when an individual encounters an allergen for the first time, the allergen would enter the antigen-presenting cells, or APCs. These APCs would then enter the lymphatic system, and when they meet T cells called Th0 cells, these T cells would transform into Th1 cells. The Th1 cells would interact with B cells, releasing several cytokines, including interleukin-12, interferon gamma, and the B cells would be stimulated to produce IgG antibodies. IgG antibody is a protective antibody and will not result in an allergic reaction. This is a normal reaction. Cause of allergy. In patients who have an allergic tendency, when allergens enter the APC and the APC enters the lymphatic system and interact and activate Th0 cells, some Th0 cells would turn into Th2 cells. These Th2 cells would interact with B cells and release cytokines including interleukin-4, interleukin-5 and interleukin-13, causing B cells to produce IgE antibodies. This IgE antibody response is abnormal and is the basic cause of allergy. Diseases caused by IgE include allergic rhinitis, skin allergy, asthma, insect allergy, some drug allergies, and some food allergies. Excessive Th2 activity would also suppress the activity of Th1, and a strong Th2 response would result in allergic reactions. Pharmacological treatment. Medications cannot cure allergy, but they can temporarily relieve symptoms. When allergens enter the body, they would still interact with IgE and cause allergic symptoms. Patients may have to rely on medications for a long time to relieve their allergic symptoms. Desensitization treatment. Desensitization treatment, also known as immunotherapy, is designed to cure allergy. The composition of the allergens used in the vaccine is based on the allergens that cause the patient's symptoms. After administration of the vaccine, the allergens in the vaccine would enter the APC, which would then enter the lymphatic system and activate the T cells, producing regulatory T cells, known as Treg cells. These Treg cells can suppress Th2 cells and at the same time stimulate the growth of Th1 cells. Interaction between Treg cells and B cells will lead to the release of cytokines into leukin 10 and transforming growth factor beta. As a result, B cells will be stimulated to produce IgG4 antibodies and these IgG4 antibodies has the ability to block allergic reactions by preventing allergen binding to the IgE located on the surface of mast cells. After a period of time, Th1 cells would significantly outweigh Th2 cells. Allergic symptoms would then decrease gradually over time, and the effect of this treatment is long-lasting. <laughs>